It might interest you to know that a baby is born with 20 primary teeth. Hello healthy moms, good day wherever you are, welcome to Inyango, Inyango means mothers and on this page we'll be giving you everything motherhood from tips and tricks to stories to everything to make your motherhood journey easy. I am Larissa Livella and welcome to Inyango. When you are informed, every stage of your baby's development becomes easy to handle. Titin is something that disturbs most mothers as they don't know what are the symptoms and what are not symptoms and how to handle it to help the baby with the pain and the discomfort of titin. So today I'm going to be telling you the symptoms of titin and what are not symptoms of titin and better ways to manage it. It might interest you to know that a baby is born with 20 primary teeth under their gums. You might not see them but they are there and by the time your baby gets to three years old, these teeth will be out. It doesn't matter if your baby started titin or started having teeth at eight months or three months, by three years old, your baby is going to have their 20 teeth out and around six years old, the teeth will start falling off if you're not giving your baby a lot of sugary stuff and things that might damage their teeth. So first, what is titin? Titin is just the process of your baby's primary teeth, which are found under their gum, coming out. And some symptoms which might come with titin are swollen gum, usually called erosion cyst, gum pain, fuziness and irritability, so they get so fuzzy and any little thing irritates them. Changes in appetite, you may realize that your baby prefers softer food instead of the hard food which they used to chew on because the harder it is, the more difficult it is for them to chew. Changes also might occur in sleep patterns due to the discomfort of teething. Also, there might be increase in the urge to chew. They might just want to put everything in their mouth and chew on everything. Also, there might be a lot of spit coming out from your baby's mouth. This is because of the discomfort and the fact that they are chewing a lot of things, so they are producing a lot of saliva. Now, there are some things which are not symptoms of teething. If your baby is having diarrhea or high fever, these are not usually signs of teething. And this could be due to the fact that they have been putting a lot of stuff in their mouth and it could be as a result of the dirt that might have gotten into their system. So if your baby is having very high temperature and maybe a lot of diarrhea or soft stool, it is very important for you to take them to the hospital for their pediatrician to check them. Now, what are some things you can do to help your little one cope with it? And no mother wants to see the baby suffer. So if there is something you can do, you obviously do it. So today I came with some tips to help you. So the first thing you can do to help your baby remedy gum pain due to teething is to get your clean hands and help them to massage their gums. Get your hands inside their mouth and massage their gum down and the ones up. This will help them relieve the pain. And if your baby is okay with it, you can do it as many times as possible within the day. Another thing you can do is to give your baby something to chew on. They are actually sitting toys that you can give your baby. They're usually soft and made for a baby to chew during that period of titting. But when you're trying to look for a titting toy, make sure the material which was used to make it is safe for your baby. Another thing you can do is to get a washcloth or a handkerchief like this one and fold it. You wrap it very tightly so that your baby can actually hold it. You wrap it though, just the way I'm doing it in a small way that your baby's hand can actually go around it like this and you wet the tip of the cloth and put it in your fridge. Please do not put it in your freezer because if you put it in your freezer, your child might get burned when they put it in their mouth. So wet the tip of it and put it in your fridge for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then give your baby to chew on it. It's really going to help them relieve that pain. That is something else you can do. Also, just the fact that your baby is releasing a lot of spit and all that, it might lead to some form of rashes on your baby's neck or face. So do well to clean your baby all the time to prevent these rashes. If the pain persists, you might want to see your doctor to help you with some titin drugs and know what particularly to prescribe to your child. But normally, titin usually goes away without taking any drugs. Now, the good news is your baby's teeth are going to come out and the pain wouldn't last for so long. It's just going to last maybe a few days before the teeth actually pops out and few days after it is out. So, 
Do not worry about it. Titting is normal and it's part of your baby's development. You can always help your baby go through it with the toys and with the massage and everything you can do. But don't worry, your baby is going to be fine since its development is only going to make them grow stronger and healthier. I hope this video could help you deal with titting better. If you're a new mom and you're looking for resources to help you deal with motherhood, do check up here for how to bathe a baby and here for another video which can help you. We have a lot of videos for you. Subscribe to our channel, do not forget, because we are going to be giving you a lot of stuff every single week to help you manage the changes and challenges that motherhood brings because if you're trying to do it on your own, it's going to be so hard. But with us here for you, we can make it very easy for you. Thank you so much for watching. Let's keep raising healthy, wealthy, and exemplary moms. And see you next week.